Okay, so we're about to do another reaction video. Jonah. All right. Is it is it the same Jonah? I I mean, someone recommended it. Um, is it the same Jonah I did um, where, where she sang Amazing Grace or My Saving Grace or something? Okay, let's listen. Is that her? Sounds like she's about to do a different style. I thought she was strictly R&B. But this sounds different, like classical sort of. And someone is filming with their phone. Is that her? Is it, is it the same Jonah? My saving grace? By the way, she blew me away. I thought she was strictly R&B. She blew me away with that song, My Saving Grace. Uh, she's such an amazing singer. She belongs up there where the elites are. Okay. What are we in for? Hold on, Mr. Beautiful dress. I, I think I think it's her. I don't quite recognize her, in, especially in this dress. Uh, what a contrast with the way she dressed in the previous video I did. She's looking very different. If this is her, she's looking very different. And you know, this song she's singing sounds like a well-disciplined song, not like R&B. Do you know that R&B different genres have different characteristics? Like R&B, your is very flexible. You're not rigid with the timing. It's not so rigid. Uh, for instance, there's a style called phrasing where you have to, uh, you can come before the beat or delay the line coming. Um, in other words, you're allowed to, you know, freestyle some places. Uh, and then when we come to something like classical, you know, it's rigid. You know, you're not flexible. It's so, so, so rigid. Sounds like something like that. Let's listen on anyway. <laughs> You know, I always tell people, you know, it's not just about the voice. It's about using your hands. You know, um, I was teaching one of uh, my students today and we're doing stage management today. And she was holding um, the mic with both hands. I said, there's a lot more you can do, you know, with just um, one hand. You know, just hold the mic with one hand. There's a lot you can do with the other hand to also inter interpret the song. You see, and then when she did that, she was awesome. We discovered a side of her we've never seen before, a star. So there's a lot you can do with your body language um, in terms of the song. And that's what um, Jonah is, is doing. And it doesn't have to be a really, it just has to be natural. You see, when you talk to someone, you're natural. You're, you know, you're using your hands, your face shows, the message you're trying to portray or pass on. That's it. That's it. So just get yourself in the song. Wear the song like a jacket and bring it to life. Yeah. 
You know, so holding both hands with the, uh, holding the mic with both hands is the waist of a hand. You can use one hand to hold it. Nice. Move your hand, move your hand. Lady's voice. The first song of hers I did, which is the uh, Grace song, she sounded more like Mariah Carey, and this one she sounded different. And I told you, it depends on the genre. You need, we need to maybe later look into what makes up different genres. Like R&B, we have these high notes, extremely high notes, extremely low notes. And uh, we have the use of all the registers. And um, in, in another song, we may not have that much um, characteristics like high notes, extremely high notes, extremely low notes. Um, but we may have a loss of vibrato and so on and so forth. Uh, not much um, riffs and runs. R&B would have that. But this is a different genre. Very nice. You see what she did? When she um, went to her head voice and she did the mic like this, it's another technique, you know, one way to diminuendo. Diminuendo is going from loud to soft. Uh, so you, you could do it like that, controlled um, by yourself, the volume of your voice, controlling the volume of your voice, or maintain the same volume. Uh, and move it away, you still you still have the same results. I focused a lot more about you know on on the the hand and if you notice there's something else I want to show you volume control by moving the mic a little away from your mouth watch here <laughs> it's closer to her mouth than compared to here because the notes she's singing here could be way louder. So there's a way to keep it at speech level. What I call speech level, well, the same volume, all right? So not really loud and, you know, disturbing the ears of people. 
Okay, so yeah, that's one way of controlling the volume. You know, she still she sings with technique, all right, but this is very good uh, uh, mic technique. And then when she finishes this watch, it goes back close to her mouth. <laughs> And listen to the end, watch the end, watch the end. She belted, she belted. Do you see that? Amazing, amazing performance, amazing technique. Little things that go on that these singers do that we're beginning to bring to the limelight right now. And this causes us to appreciate our favorite singers. So I hope you enjoy that and see you next time.